Peace, love, life, balance. Welcome to Universe Soul. Life, balance, Universe Soul. Host Chief Small getting right into it. I check this out, family. You have to understand this. This goes for both men and women. You cannot expect someone to be faithful to you who has not been faithful to themselves. You cannot expect someone to be a good steward of their sexual energy who have not been a good steward of their sexual energy within themselves. That's an unrealistic, delusional expectation. That's why you have to understand that you have to look for certain markers. You have to, you can, we all can think back and look back at times we got into relationships and we've seen certain red flags, but a lot of times out of lust, you ignore those, you ignore those uh, flags. You ignore those flags out of, out of uh, loneliness. You ignore those flags. You know, out of leisure, out of comfort. I talk about the three L's all the time. You ignore those things because you want, you know, you, you're comfortable, you're in lust, and you're lonely. So you ignore certain red flags. But one major red flag, if you're looking for someone that's going to be faithful to you, is that are they committed to themselves? Um, are they committed to their personal health, to their fitness? Are they committed to their, are they disciplined? Um, certain signs lead to other things. Like if a person is undisciplined in certain areas, they're gonna be undisciplined most likely in all areas. If they're not, if they're not a good steward of keeping themselves in a certain uh, manner of, of cleanliness or a certain manner of, of, of prestige, or they're not, let's say, let's say you met them and you met them in a situation where they was, they was out doing something lustful or something that you know, was, was unbefitting, It'd be, it's silly of you to think you can change that person, that that situation is going to change because of you. A lot of us have too much, too much invested in our ego. When we do, we think that we can change people. We think that, we think that, uh, well, they, they, they might have been like that before, but now I'm in the picture, and it doesn't work like that. You can't make someone, you can't make someone be disciplined. You can't make someone be faithful. They have to have it, and they have to already have want. They have to want to be there themselves. There's no actions that you can do to the human being that can make them be that. If they, if they're not, that's why I talk a lot about semen retention, because it's a form of discipline that prepares you for life and also prepares you if you ever wanted to mate with another person. Because you have to understand that if you can't control your, if you can't, as a, especially as a man, if you can't go 30 days without busting a nut, minimum, just 30 days. It's not, I know it's, it's going to be hard at first, but just got to get on the horse. You can't go 30 days without taking, using, using your sexual energy, your energy source for yourself. Letting it stay within you, letting it be within you, then you're not gonna be able to be faithful to a woman, and for and vice versa. Um, if you can't control, if you can't control your lust, if you gotta masturbate all the time, if you gotta do this, if you gotta do that, you're not gonna be able to be faithful to another person. Peace.